Hello everybody, welcome to Brainy Dental. In this video of Minimally Invasive Dentistry Part 2, I'll be discussing three topics which individually come as separate short notes. They include chemomechanical caries removal, ozone therapy and laser therapy. So let's go ahead and watch. Chemomechanical caries removal. What is it? Chemomechanical caries removal is a non-invasive alternative to caries removal. What is non-invasive? It means no cutting is required. So, this technique involves applying a chemical solution on the decayed dentinal tissues, allowing it to soften, and finally, scraping the decayed portion off with hand instruments. Just as simple as that. Coming to the method. Now, burr is required for initial penetration into the enamel. If you look at the diagram, you will observe we use this burr to cut the surface enamel and make an entry point. After that, the gel is applied, which is in form of this drop, to the carious lesion. Now, this gel is pink in color, making it easily visible. Now, we leave the gel in position for 30 seconds. After that, we use hand instruments to gently scrape off the carious dentine. We apply more gel and repeat the procedure till all of the caries dentine is removed. Now the total volume of the gel that has been utilized is 0.2 to 1 milliliter and the time required for the procedure is 10 to 15 minutes. Now the reagents commonly available in the market for this procedure are Caridex and Cariosol. Now various studies they have shown that although the caries removal with help of a burr is a quicker method but it over prepares the cavities. Whereas in chemomechanical caries removal, although the procedure is slower, but it removes adequate quantities of the caries tissue. Coming to the advantages, it is very obviously a painless procedure, does not require any anesthesia. It is a minimal invasive technique for caries removal. It has good patient acceptance and it is useful for children and anxious patients. It is better suited for medically compromised and mentally compromised patients. It does not show any adverse effects on pulp and it has no effect on sound or healthy dentine. Disadvantages being that some cavities they do need initial use of rotary instruments and the surface of the cavity may at times have undesirable undercuts or overhangs. So this completes your short note on chemomechanical caries removal. Coming to laser, it is another important a short note like laser used in dentistry or laser use of laser in operative dentistry. So laser it's an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. You see laser devices they produce beams of coherent and very high intensity light. You can see it in the diagram. Also the laser treated tooth structure is more resistant to demineralization by acids as the structure of enamel and dentine gets permanently modified. It reduces the possibility of post-operative sensitivity. Now, this is a very important aspect of laser-treated teeth. Effect of laser on tooth structure has a very promising role in MIT, such as the erbium Euterium Aluminium Garnet Laser and the NIT-YAG or Neodynamium YAG Laser. They are being used to cut hard dentinal tissues. Then, the eczema laser, which is argon ferron and xenon chloride. These lasers, they have a wavelength of 377 nm and they have the potential of more selective ablation of caries dentine. They show ultraviolet emission. Then carbon dioxide lasers, they can be used for sealing of fissures by melting and recrystallization of enamel. Then low power laser light in the presence of suitable photosynthesizer has the ability to kill the streptococcus mutants. Advantages, the first one is there is no need for anesthesia. Then, no mechanical vibration or noise as in rotary cutting instruments. It is safe and efficient treatment for caries removal and there is no odor. Disadvantages, they include that it is expensive and there is need to better the technique. And side effects of thermal irritation to the pulp and possible destruction of adjacent soft tissue does exist. Coming to ozone therapy. Now, this technique, it utilizes ozone gas which is applied to the tooth surface in a controlled manner with the use of helozone delivery handpiece. Now, the ozone technology was first developed by Edward Lynch. It can be a suitable alternative to conventional drilling and filling. 
ozone has a strong oxidation power and this powerful oxidant can also be effective for inactivation of microorganisms. Now once the bacteria are eliminated, the treated surface can be restored or left to remineralize. Advantages are no anesthetic, no drilling, no discomfort. Secondly, it avoids pulpal damage due to heat generation during high speed drilling. No tooth sensitivity due to marginal leakage at tooth restoration junction. It's a conservative preparation and it is less time consuming. Applications. It has wide variety of applications. Firstly, it can be used in minimal invasive tooth preparation, used for tooth whitening procedures, cleaning of root canals, aids in periodontal therapy, decontamination of dental unit water lines, pre-washing of surgical sites before implant placement, and to eliminate pollution in air supplies in the hospitals. Coming to the final principle of MID, which is repair instead of replacement. Now the trend has set in to repair defective restorations if possible instead of replacing them. The decision to repair instead of replacing is based on few factors which are firstly the professional judgment of benefits versus the risks of replacing the restoration. Second, the marginal seal of the old restoration, how well intact it is marginally. Then the status of the pulp, then the aesthetic requirements. Sometimes the old restoration may be intact but it is discolored. Then presence of secondary caries. So all these factors they kept in mind when we decide to repair the restoration instead of replacing it. The conservative treatment options for repairing old restoration include the use of glass ionomer for repair, especially in the cervical areas because of the potential for fluoride release and chemical adhesion. Then good marginal seal is ensured and modifying the old preparation by recontouring or by polishing. With these two videos, I have systematically covered the topic of minimal invasive dentistry the way you are expected to answer in your exam. All the data I took from textbook of operative dentistry written by me, the link of it has been given in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed your lecture. Do like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.